if you have a low end pc in 2025 and you want to turn your stupid low end pc into the best pc in the world then this is the perfect video for you because in this video today i'm going to be showing you how you can fully optimize your stupid junk pc in other words basically improving your fps and reducing your input delay but 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 but, but. if you want to get the most out of your low end pc then make sure you go ahead and check out tracer tweaks you're probably wondering what is Tracer Tweaks. Tracer Tweaks is the ultimate tool to get the most FPS out of your low end PC, and it is the perfect tool to fully optimize your PC. As my premium utility contains over 10,000 tweaks, and my standard utility contains over 5,000 tweaks. So if you're interested, you can head over to tracertweaks.com. Anyways, without further ado, I don't like to yap a lot. Let's get right into the video. Also, make sure you use code Tracer in the Fortnite Adam Shop. Let's go right into the video. All right, guys, so if you have a low-end PC and you're looking to boost your FPS, we're going to be using an application called the Tracer Free Tweaking Utility, which is a fully open-sourced free tweaking utility. All right, open Discord. Head over to the Tracer Tweaks Discord server. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. Head over to my website, tracertweaks.com. Open the website. Head over to download. Press download right here. Extract the file. Open the Tracer Free Utility version 4. This is meant to fully optimize your PC with just a few clicks. This is going to optimize your PC with lots of different tweaks. Head over to the Windows tweaks, make sure you know what you're applying. Go ahead and apply all the tweaks. As I said one more time, make sure you know what you're applying. Go ahead and deep load your system. This is basically going to remove the unwanted apps on your PC. Optimize your peripherals, basically your keyboard and mouse to reduce your input delay. Optimize your GPU, whether you have Nvidia or AMD. And then go ahead and optimize your Fortnite game. If you want, you can go ahead and check out my premium version as well. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and open Fortnite. You want, By the way, this is my Epic. If you want to add me, YouTube Tracer, I'm going to accept everyone. Um, so you want to head over to your in-game settings right here. And as you guys can see, for your window mode, you want to make sure that you have this on full screen. As literally Fortnite themselves, they say that in full screen mode, you cannot interact with other windows as easily, but the game will run slightly faster. So you want to make sure you have it on full screen. Now, for your resolution, I advise you to use a stretch resolution. Now, right now, I'm a 1920 by 1080 because I'm recording a video. If you want to find out how to get stretch resolution on full screen, go ahead and check out my video before this one i have, I have no clue i'm gonna leave it down below in the description make sure you have vsync turned off it's absolutely useless it's gonna give you lots of input delay make sure that your frame rate limit is set to your monitor's refresh rate so if your monitor's refresh rate is 144 hertz then just make it 144 fps your rendering mode lots of people are debating between directx 11 and performance mode because right now for some pcs actually directx 11 runs better than performance mode so i'm actually gonna ask you to try both of them out for me performance mode works works better but for your pc maybe direct x11 is going to work better so go ahead and benchmark between both of the uh, modes then you have the graphic settings now obviously lots of pros have just the normal graphic settings so i recommend to have it on normal or just have your brightness up like up to like 130 now down here you have your graphics quality make sure that you have your 3d resolution anywhere between 90 to 95 percent because this is going to allow you to render less pixels which results in more fps and less input delay then you have your view distance your view distance does not really affect your fps that much so you can have it on either near or medium make sure that your textures are on low in order to get the highest fps and the lowest input delay possible and your meshes are on low as well then go to your game settings scroll a little bit down until you find replays and want to make sure that everything that has to do with replays plays are turned off and energy saving as well you want to go ahead and press apply and you want to go ahead and close fortnite once you close fortnite you want to go ahead and open your epic games launcher and you want to head over to your library then you want to go ahead and press on those little three dots right here and you want to head over to options once you head over to options right here you're gonna have the fortnite installation options right in front of you you want to make sure to have fortnite save the world unchecked high resolution textures unchecked and pre-download streamed assets checked the reason why you want to have high resolution textures unchecked is because they're going to give you lots of input delay and they're going to give you lots of FPS drops as well. And you want to make sure that pre-download streamed assets are checked because it's going to install all the assets that would normally be streamed during gameplay. And this is going to improve your ping and your FPS drastically. All right, guys. So right now we're going to be taking a look at some NVIDIA control panel settings that you can apply to boost your FPS. So you want to go ahead and open your NVIDIA control panel settings, head over to manage 3D settings, and you want to go ahead and copy these exact settings I have. I'm not going to be explaining every single setting one by one. I'm just going to tell you like to turn it on or off. You can literally read the description right here. So I don't waste your guys' time. Anyways, image scaling, make sure that you have this turned off. Ambient occlusion, make sure that you have this turned off. Make sure you have this set to application controlled. Anti-aliasing, FX, AA, make sure that this turned off. Anti-aliasing, gamma correction, off. Anti-aliasing mode, application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency, turned off. Background application max frame rate, turned off. CUDA GPUs on all. The fallback policy on driver default, DSR factors turned off, 
low latency mode is set to ultra or on just see which one is better for you some people say on is better some people say ultra so for me i just like ultra anyways max frame rate turned off multi frame sampled aa turned off open gl gdi compatibility turned off open gl rendering gpu make sure that you set this to your gpu power management mode make sure that you have this prefer maximum performance preferred refresh rate application controlled share the cast size driver default texture filtering quality on high performance Texture filtering, a trilinear optimization, make sure that you have this turned on. Threaded optimization on auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync off. And if you want your game to look colorful, just like Peterbot, you want to go ahead and head over to your adjust desktop color settings. Scroll a little bit down and make sure that your digital vibrance is anywhere between 75 to 90%, depending on like how colorful you want it. So I'm going to make it on 88%. And that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video.